Welcome back, Frack Crew. It's Frack Daddy Barbecue, and that means one day it's Frack Daddy Friday, to where every Friday we will be bringing you a new video to show you guys what we're doing. So, on today's video, we're going to be doing a follow up review on our Stargazer cast iron pan. And on top of that, we're going to be doing a smoked pineapple upside down cake and a pellet cooker. That's right, you heard that right. Stargazer cast iron pineapple upside down cake and a pellet cooker. So let's get this started. Alrighty guys, so first off before we show you our ingredients, let's talk about this beautiful cast iron that Stargazer sent us. So this is a ten and a half inch cast iron skillet that Melissa and I absolutely love and we cook on this thing on a daily basis. So let me tell you a little bit of my likes and actually there's no dislikes. So this thing cooks up and heats up so evenly we use it on a daily basis to cook bacon, cook eggs, pretty much cook anything you can think of and this is a matter of fact going to be our first dessert that we're going to be cooking for you guys on Frack Daddy Friday. So. Let's get started and I'll show you my ingredients. Alrighty guys, so I'm gonna add a half a stick of butter into my Stargazer cast iron pan. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have my pellet cooker set to 350 and we're gonna let this cast iron come up to temperature with the smoke. Okay guys, we're going to start off with our wet ingredients and we're going to show you what that is. Okay, so here we have a half a stick of melted butter that's going in. We have two eggs. Then we have one cup of buttermilk. Then we're just going to add a splash of vanilla. Use as much as you like. Man, I would say one teaspoon or so. And let's whisk it all together. So now we'll add half a cup of white sugar. Goes in. One tablespoon of baking powder and a half a teaspoon of salt. Then we have one and one half cup of all purpose flour. Mix it in, make sure you have no lumps. And this is how you make a homemade batter for the best pineapple upside down cake you will ever have. Okay guys, now I don't want y'all to be alarmed when you make this batter. It's a very, very thick batter. Also, what we did is we also cut back on some of the sugar. So. Normally it calls for one cup of white sugar and also calls for three-fourths cup of brown sugar for the bottom. We found that it's just too sweet for us, but you guys can try this recipe the original way and if you like, you can cut back on the sugar. Alrighty, now that our cast iron has come up to temp and our smoker's up to temp, we're going to take our brown sugar, just kind of place it all over. Don't be afraid to spread it out. That way it kind of cooks up evenly. And I recommend doing this with a warm pan because it will help the sugar melt a little better. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our pineapple rings. Just place them in here, just like this. Go in any order you like. Not call the pineapple upside down cake for nothing if you don't have pineapple. One right here in the center. And we take our beautiful cherries, place them inside of each cherry or pineapple. All right, now let's get our batter in here. Okay, 
and if you're wondering what kind of pellets I'm using, I'm using B&B Competition Championship Blend. It's got pecan, it's got cherry, and it's a mixture of oak. It's gonna go perfectly with this pineapple upside down cake. Alrighty, so our pineapple upside down cake has been on our pellet cooker for 45 minutes. I had my trusty cake tester, we stuck it in there, it came out clean at 45 minutes. So now what we're going to do, we're going to let it rest for 5 minutes and then the moment of truth, we're going to flip it over and see if it was a success. Alright, so the moment of truth, it has been 5 minutes, let's go ahead and flip this over and see what we've done. Go ahead and do that. Now let it sit like this for a couple minutes, y'all. And it should come out. Alright, you ready, Melissa? I'm ready. Wow. Look at that, guys. Talk about a beautiful smoked pineapple upside down cake. Stargazer, I want to say thank you for sending this out to us to review two months ago. And this is our follow-up, and I tell you what, guys, I am super, super impressed. I mean, the proof is right there in this pineapple upside-down cake on how beautiful this Stargazer cooks. So, now we're going to let this cool off, and then we're going to taste it. All right, let's cut into this cake. I am excited to try a piece of this. And also, I want to give a shout out to the Kitchen, kitchen Queers. They have got a collab going on, Quarantine Cooking. So go check them out. We're going to leave a link in our description box for them. All righty, guys. Let's try this smoked pineapple upside down cake you what it's you can tell the sugars have caramelized very beautifully on to that pineapple which that's what you're looking for and as y'all can tell this thing is still pretty airy and fluffy so let me take a bite of this mm. tell you what from first bite it's not overly sickening sweet but it's still fluffy you get the butter yet from the butter that we put inside of this I tell you what it's caramelized a nice crust on top of this it is amazing so guys if you like what you've seen right here we'll leave the description in the description box the description in the description. sorry we will leave <laughs> a link in our description box to Malcolm Reed's how to barbecue right for the smoked pineapple upside down cake that way you guys can follow it until then we appreciate you guys watching, and you guys be safe, and we'll see you later.